This quilt might just be the most unique quilt out there. The Catabatic Flex quilt is feature packed, taking a lot of innovative design cues and stuffing them into one package. You can't get a quilt like this anywhere else. Let's take a look at what's good and what's bad about the Catabatic Flex to see if all those features actually make it a better product. Starting off with what's good about this quilt, the first thing I wanna talk about is the weight. So I have here the regular width, regular length quilt with 900 power filled down and it weighs 646 grams. That weight is really low, especially considering that while this is the 22 degree Fahrenheit version, I find that it outperforms that temperature rating. Next up, let's get this quilt on the ground and talk about construction. The quilt uses Pertex Quantum Eco Nylon material, so it uses 0.85 ounce per yard ripstop nylon for the outer shell, and then the inner shell uses one ounce per yard taffeta nylon. That inner material is really soft because of its a taffeta material, so it feels really good against your skin. Like I said, I have here the 900 power fill down version. You can also get quilts with 800 or 850 power fill down. All of that down is responsible down standard, so RDS certified, and all of the materials, including the shell and the down, is blue science certified. The material this quilt is made of is very durable. It just feels like a quality quilt. All the stitching is phenomenal. And then the hardware that they use is also great. So there's a snap at the head end here like most quilts have in order to lock in heat around your neck. And the snap here is just a step above any other snap that I've used in a quilt. The quilt also has a neck cinch that works really well right at the top here, no problems with that. And then the flex actually has a zipper. So it has a zipper bottom and then a hole at the end so you can drape it over you more like a blanket if you want open it fully up or you can have it fully done up like I have here and have it more like a sleeping bag bottom. The zipper on the foot box here is really robust. I've tossed and turned a lot and haven't had any issues with the zipper coming undone or snapping apart. Where the Catabatic Flex really stands out is warmth and this is where a lot of the extra features that the Catabatic Flex has really come into play. The first thing it does in order to help with warmth is that the foot box is overstuffed so that's just going to help keep your little toesies a little bit warmer. The other thing is that the down inside of the sleeping bag can be treated with a hydrophobic treatment, hyper dry, and that's gonna help the down perform better in moist and humid environments. There's a couple benefits at the head end here. We already talked about the snap that you can do up in order to do up the neck and lock in heat that way, as well as the cinch just to lock the entire quilt around your shoulders and neck. But in order to support both of those things, Catabatic also includes a neck baffle in order to keep drafts out. This neck baffle just really seals in all the heat around your shoulders and your neck, and that's a big place where you can lose heat and end up being cold in the middle of the night. A really unique feature with the Catabatic quilts is that they have a differential cut. So what that means is that the outer shell of the quilt is cut wider than the inner shell. And when you wrap the quilt around you, that means you're getting less compression of the down because the quilt is designed to be curved. I've noticed the differential cut while I'm sleeping and tossing and turning inside the quilt, as well as you can see it just as the quilt lays down. It's just a very lofty quilt. The quilt also has a tensioning system along the edges. So there's an elastic material along the edges and that just really helps with keeping the edges locked down and not ballooning out. And that's gonna keep drafts down as you're tossing and turning throughout the night. Like I said, this quilt is rated 22 degrees Fahrenheit, but it uses 2.75 inch baffles. Baffles are really the big determining factor for how warm a quilt is gonna be. The taller the baffles, the more loft you get out of your down and the warmer the quilt is. A lot of quilt manufacturers out there for a 20 degree Fahrenheit quilt use 2.5 inch baffles. So with the Catabatic quilt, you're getting taller baffles by 10%, but then it's also rated a little bit more conservatively. So the Catabatic quilt is gonna be quite a bit warmer. And this is also based on my experience. It just is warmer than equally rated quilts out there from other brands. I do a lot of testing with my gear. I track air temperature and ground temperature through the course of the night. We'll also compare quilts using the same sleeping pads, same base layers, and then getting the quilts out in the same conditions. And I can say that the Catabatic quilt sleeps warmer than a lot of other quilts out there that have the same rating. And that's due to all the features that it has as well as its overall design. But that's not to say that it sleeps too warm. I'd actually be a little bit miffed if the quilt slept a lot warmer than its temperature rating because that means I'm probably just paying more and carrying more weight than I wanted to. There are some things I'm kind of neutral on with this quilt as well. The first thing is the pad strap system. So you have cord, two millimeter cord that wraps around your sleeping pad. And then you have these clips that are attached to the quilt that then attach to the cord. This whole system is patented by Catabatic so you won't see it anywhere else. And there are some benefits and then drawbacks to this system. One of the big benefits is that these clips have two different positions. So you have the free moving version, so it can just move up and down this cord 
or you have a locked position. The free position is great if you're tossing and turning a lot, you're not gonna be as locked in on the sleeping pad, but that will also lead to a few more drafts. You can get to the locked position by just pushing the clip into the cord a little bit more, and then it's locked in place, and you're gonna be really locked in onto the sleeping pad and not get any drafts. The issue I have is that this system is a little bit more finicky to use. A lot of people already find quilts finicky. When you're locking the quilt down, it's a little bit hard to get it locked, and it's also hard to get it unlocked. So in the middle of the night, if you have to pee or something, and you're trying to get out of your quilt, dealing with these clips can be a bit of a pain. Another neutral item is the baffling. So the catabatic quilts use horizontal baffles throughout the entire quilt. A lot of other quilts and sleeping bags will use vertical baffles in the torso and then horizontal baffles at the foot end. And that's because when you're laying in the quilt and it's kind of propped up, you'll have down that migrates from the top to the sides and that can lead to a cold spot on top of you. Catabatic says that the horizontal baffles throughout is actually a feature. It's so that you can move the down from the top to the sides if it's a little bit warmer and then have a little bit more temperature versatility with the quilt. Personally, I find just opening up the neck baffles and snaps and then maybe undoing the quilt from the pad straps is more than enough to dump a bunch of heat. I can get up way above the temperature rating just with those methods. But I also haven't found that down migrates from the top of the quilt to the sides with the horizontal baffles. And I don't know if that's because Catabatic actually has another baffle kind of running vertically this way in order to keep everything on top. Or maybe it's because of the differential cut that Catabatic uses just helps really keep down in its place. The width is another neutral with most quilts out there, a regular is gonna be fine for me in order to toss and turn and not feel constricted. The regular width with the Catabatic is a little bit tight. It's tighter than other quilts that I've used from UGQ and Enlightened Equipment and Hammock Gear. Knowing that now, I would have just gotten the wide version. So just keep that in mind if you are picking up a Catabatic quilt. I will have links in the video description if you wanna check those out. I do get a small commission at no extra charge to you. But if you are picking one up, then get the wide version if you're a ground sleeper, unless you're very slim or very tiny. That takes us to what's bad about this quilt. First up, the price. It costs $410 US for the version that I got. You can drop that price if you opt for 850 or 800 power filled down, but I find that price to be a little bit high considering that the shell of the quilt is made in China. Catabatic stuffs their quilts and finishes them at their shop in Colorado, but they're getting a significant cost savings by having the shells made in China, and it would have been nice to see that cost savings pass on the consumer. That being said, you're gonna pay a lot for a premium quilt like this, no matter which manufacturer you go with, but you might not get all the features that the Catabatic Flex has. The other bad thing is the colors. The Catabatic Flex only comes in two colors, gray and blue, but I do really like this blue option, so that's not a big deal for me, but if you want something else, then you're gonna be stuck. If this quilt is a little bit out of your budget, go check out this video where I review the Hammock Gear Econo Burrow Quilt. It's probably the best budget option out there for quilts and has a lot of features considering how budget friendly it is. 